Good morning and welcome to Barcelona. Well, uh, virtually welcome to Barcelona, professors and doctors, professionals. I am very happy to be here for the ninth International Academic Symposium on Energy Transition and Opportunities for Global Recovery. Here in the table, in the virtual table, uh, you may also uh, see uh, Professor Martí Paraiga de Sabaté, President of the Barcelona Institute of Economics, and Professor Maria Teresa Costa Campi, Director of the, Energy, of the Chair of Energy Sustainability at the University of Barcelona. Uh, we can start giving the floor to Professor Maria Teresa Costa Campi. Good morning. Honorable Vice Rector of the University of Barcelona and Professor Martí Parellada, President of the IEB and Trustee of FUNSEA. I am delighted to welcome you on behalf of the Chair in Energy and Sustainability to our ninth International Academic Symposium focused on energy transition and opportunities for global economic recovery. Due to the pandemic, we have not been able to offer the symposium in person. Thanks to online technology, we can continue with our work, although we will miss the chance to renew the personal contact with so much fun. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet again in the usual way next year we wish we hope and uh, we we'll now give a very brief overview of the chair the chair in energy sustainability a successful example of academic business cooperation was born in may 2012 as a part of an agreement between the University of Barcelona and FUNSEA, a foundation created to foster a sustainable energy model. Our mission, the mission of the chair, is to be a center for research and analysis, bringing innovative ideas to the academic energy and climate debate at an international level. The shares uh, contributions are uh, the result of the huge effort of a small group of professors and researchers involved in diverse competitive research projects, publications in top ranking journals, and presenting in more than 70 international academic conferences and we have also received 60 distinguished visiting professors from the top universities and research centers in the world. Uh, the papers that will be presented today were chosen by a scientific committee for their quality and uniqueness. I should like to acknowledge the extraordinary caliber of those researchers who respond to this call in lockdown times and say it is an honor they present their papers today. The conception of this symposium responds to exacting academic criteria, contributions from the previous symposium have been of such academic excellence that the majority of them have been published by top-ranking journals. And thanks to the IB, to the president, the director, and to all the members, it is a privilege for all the members of the chair to work with such an outstanding institution which recognizes the central role of academic research. Uh, finally, I should like to give my thanks again to FUNSEM and to the University of Barcelona. 
I am very proud to be a professor in the most international renown of our universities and appreciate the undiminished support for academic research from both institutions. Thanks to all of you for joining us online today. Thank you, Dr. Costa Campier. Now is I give the floor to Professor Martí Parellada Sabata. Good morning. Um, it gives me a great pleasure to participate one year more in this opening address with the director of the Chair of Energy Sustainability, Professor, Professor Maria Teresa Costa, and Professor Jordi García Fernández, Vice Rector for Research of the University of Barcelona. There have been nine meetings of the symposium that have taken place regularly over the past nine years. The chair has existed for the same time, nine years, and Funseam also. And additionally, uh, this year uh, sees the 20th anniversary of the Barcelona Economic Institute, 20 years since its foundation as a research center of the University of Barcelona. So there are many reasons to celebrate and to express our satisfaction. And we do not uh, want that the pandemic to affect them because even though uh, we cannot physical, physically share our activity as usual in the University of Barcelona Science Park, uh, there can be no doubt that the program that the chair has prepared continue to be as excellent as, as always. <clears throat> Professor, Professor Costa has been and still is the principal driving for, force of the chair since its establishment. And first as the director and now as the president of Barcelona Economic Institute, I have had the honor of sharing almost all these opening ceremonies with her. And both of us also took part in the creation process of uh, FUNSEAN. All of that took place quite many years ago. And I do not regret that because this day the example and the age of the new president of the USA act, acts as an incentive to keep on working. As you know, I combine here the position of a member of the board of Funseum and also, and also the position of president of the Barcelona Institute of Economics. This combination of institutions reflects how to improve research in public universities in Spain. For FUNSEAM, the activities of the chair are very important, in my opinion, because the chair is a very good tool to give the members of FUNSEAM and its stakeholders in general rigorous reflections from the academic world about questions related with energy topics. For the Barcelona Institute of Economics, the incorporation of the chair is also a very good opportunity to introduce, to introduce research on energy economics in our portfolio of activities. If you will allow me, another way of saying it is that the prestige that the chair has gradually acquired over these years is also confirmed by the foundation that supports it. FUNSEAM and the institution that host it in the university, the Barcelona Economic Institute, also have an important, I think, and I hope, an important, uh, an important activity for the recognition of the chair. As a member of the board of FUNSEAM and as president of the Barcelona Institute of Economics, I am very proud of the work of the chair and particularly 
of the work of Professor Maria Teresa Costa and all of her colleagues. I'm sure that the companies represented in the board of Funseum, I heard it yesterday during the Funseum board meeting, and the companies and institutions represented in the board, on the board of the Barcelona Institute of Economics Foundation, and are also very proud of the activities of the chair. The chair is carrying out a very important task in its field, its field of, for research, of research. It has been recognized as a research group of excellence by the Catalan government. It publishes a, sustil, a substantial number of articles in journals of high impact. It has consolidated a program of visiting professors. Some PhD students are doing their doctoral thesis and the chair is undertaking different research projects about climate change challenges, energy poverty and research and development and innovation in energy. This good work is also reflect, reflected in this ninth International Academic Symposium whose objective is to study energy transition for global economic recovery. The significance of this subject cannot be questioned. Spain really, really needs to transform its energy mix in order to accelerate decarbonization. However, this aim must be combined with energy supply safety and the competitiveness of our economy. It is possible to achieve an energy, an energy transition that guarantees our technology, technological and industrial capacities. Can decarbonization contribute to our economic recovery? What role should regulation play in promoting these goals? These are questions that are not and connected with the intervention, interventions by the speakers Claudia Kembert and Natalia Fabre and the participants in the three round tables. We should listen to them carefully. To finish, let me also thank all of those, of those who have contributed to organizing this event the Nine International Academic Symposium of the Share of Energy Sustainability, and particularly the administrative staff of Funseum and Barcelona Economic Institute. In closing, let me reiterate once more my appreciation of Professor Maria Teresa Costa. With her, without her, this project would have been impossible. My thanks to all of you for being here uh, with us. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Professor uh, Parayada. As you may know, we are in the times of COVID disease. So now I think that this uh, symposium is especially interesting for several reasons. First, because of course, sustainable Energy is at the center of some of the sustainable developmental goals for the 2013 uh, plans. In particular, goal number seven, number, number seven, affordable and clean energy, of course, is the major topic of this symposium, but also goal number 13 about climate action has a lot to see from this symposium. And of course, both uh, developmental goals also uh, join together to improve the life quality on land. As for sure that in the last years, we have seen that the climate is changing. We have big storms coming. Uh, last week in Spain, we also received so much snow that we couldn't even believe. 
So that means that things are changing. Things are changing because of the human action. And of course, we have to look at the future, taking into account that the energy that the uh, human society is consuming has a limit. Has a limit, and this limit needs to take into account other kinds of energy, other kinds of obtention of energy, different than the ones that in the 20th century just helped to develop the society. Uh, for this, the symposium will center on sustainable uh, energy methods. That means trying to see how the 21st century will be working for having a society more clean, a planet cleaner, and of course, without that, nothing else uh, will be mm, succeeding in society. Of course, changing the energy types that uh, we consume have a lot of um, derivatives, derivative in terms of economic distress and economic undistress that will be analyzed in this uh, symposium. Also, the policies, economic policies, we have to take into account this new um, energy sources. And also, of course, we are in January 2021. And as we all know, and this is why you are not here in Barcelona physically, the COVID, the COVID disease, the SARS coronavirus 2 has changed nearly everything. And maybe this change also may help in, change, in changing how the society, how the humanity look at the planet. And for this um, new vision on what can we do with the planet, maybe this symposium will have some light. So <laughs> I hope that this symposium will be benefiting for the University of Barcelona, but also for all the actors that are present in this symposium. So finally, and on behalf of the rector of the University of Barcelona, who could not come this morning here, I officially inaugurate this symposium. Please enjoy it.